Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped, so feel free to switch those energies, vice versa, right? Let's see. Feel free to switch the side, so, all right? Pick the side you resonate most with. And uh, if you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box. But... Hmm. You're moving on, Libra. Clearly, you're moving on. You're, you, you have this distance that you have maintained, right? You're creating this physical and mental distance between the person you're dealing with and yourself. This person has been sabotaging the connection, right? And you're fed up. You're done with the mind games. You just feel defeated. And you just feel you can't deal with this anymore. And like you have no choice but to move on, but to relocate or just um, move on is what I'd say. Before you completely reach a point where you feel backstabbed and betrayed is what I'm getting. The person you're dealing with, right? This person's addicted to you. They're obsessed, okay? This person is very... Um, so they have a lot of uh, negativity surrounding them. This person does feel very chained, tied, bound to you. But that's not what the problem is. The problem is that this person out here is obsessed with you, right? So they tend to, um, that is another sabotaging energy, but they tend to operate out of fear. So if this person has a lot of love for you, they feel a very strong connection for you, okay? I feel this person also loves you. But the connection that they have with you, right, it's been... Um, approach the connection is approached in a very negative way okay where this person feels like they um they love you but they can't commit to you or they're just very sexually attracted to you or this person is trying to run away from something committed is what i'm getting there okay that's what they're doing i think this person out here knows that they love you very very much but they're trying to distract themselves as much as they can in order to stay away from that commitment part, in order to stay away from something stable, something committed, that's what I'm getting here. They're distracting themselves, okay? And they have a lot of sabotaging behavior, which is why you walked away. They're doing things on purpose. I mean, not on purpose. I'd say that this is the devil that's creating illusions. They feel that this is the only way to approach this situation, okay? So it's like it's not their fault, but in a way it is their fault because they feel helpless. They feel powerless, okay? The negative patterns, thought patterns or whatever they've been doing, if there's a third party situation, they're in it because they feel powerless. They feel they can't do anything about this, but it's only them in literal sense who can do something about it but you're just choosing to leave them where they are i don't think you're wanting to mess with them or you just don't want them to mess with you all right how do you view this connection libra how does this person view this connection how does this person view this connection You view this person as someone, you know, uh, they see you as very hardworking, okay? They see you as very focused on your career, your money, your goals, probably even emotionally detached, okay? And uh, you're just focusing on yourself is how they see you. You see them as someone probably who knows they're not happy without you. You see them as emotionally codependent on you, okay? But there's this sense of arrogance coming from this person's side. They've, they have very low self-esteem, you know, and uh, this person knows you make them very happy. But it's that sense of arrogance, you know, that, that haughty nature, that proudiness, okay, where it's like they're too proud to admit that they can't do without you and you're the one that they want. That's what's happening. And you know that. You know that. And they see you as completely disinterested in them and just focused on yourself. Working hard to achieve your goals or just working hard towards yourself. All right, tell me the mutual energy. What is the mutual energy? What is the mutual energy? What is the mutual energy? Wow, you're both being super rigid out here. None of you want to budge. The problem here is that, you know what, you both want to be in the driver's seat. That's what's happening here. You want, you, 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 you don't want to, you know, it's like you're both not within the structure right now. You both want to, are being control freaks right now because that is a mutual energy no one wants to budge no one wants to give up okay but now probably it is this person coming off as that more than you because i feel like you're moving on 
feels like you're getting to a better place just you know like picking up the pieces and just moving forward out here once this person can't let you go i don't think they're letting you go this person won't let you go but the problem here is that both of you are being very rigid very rigid you both have your own insecurities i think both of you all have um, that insecurity that they don't want to be dominated by the other person out here so it's like a it's like a you know like an ego fight going on why is all this happening why is all this happening why is all this happening seven of pentacles because there's no movement out here you're both waiting and watching see that's what's happening here right no one's taking that decisive action thinking practically you're both letting your emotions overpower your logic whereas right now you need structure but both of you are outside your structures you're both in that free flow energy everyone's doing what they want to okay uh the reason for the reading is that there is no movement out here that's what i'm getting here okay you're both waiting and watching contemplating a lot of introspection going on what do we need to do next okay i think you're both waiting and watching probably this person out here is not taking action towards you yet or i think you're not investing into them because you put in all your hard work i think this is you you put in all your hard work okay now you're like you know what now it's time for me to wait and watch okay is it a good time for me to invest more do i want to invest more am i only going to be the one putting in all the work is there going to be any kind of reciprocity from this person will this person continue the negative patterns or negative behaviors will there be the continue will there be a continuation of the third party situation third party situation does not have to be another romantic connection it can be a person place thing thought pattern anything all right that comes between you and this person that you're dealing with all right but right now things are at a halt a complete pause okay a lot of um, you know it's like a waiting game that's what's happening right now so no momentum right now in your relationship i think you were the one who's always put in the work all this while and this person was just sitting back watching the show now that you have you know so the thing the ball was rolling okay so so things were going on there, there was this momentum in your relationship now all of a sudden you pulled back from this connection now you're putting you're putting yourself on a halt things are stagnant and you're walking the other way hence there is no movement in the relationship so it's like you almost realize that when one person stops messaging you get to know who was the one who was always making the attempt something like that okay all right what action does this what action do you plan on taking towards this person moving forward okay what action does this person plan on taking towards you moving forward all right then okay It looks like this person wants to heal. This person wants to heal the relationship. That's what I'm getting here. They're trying to heal, but I think there's a lot of negative self-talk from this person because I feel this person is highly influenced by a lot of negative energy. Could be in their surroundings, could be in their external environment, could be the way they think. Okay, but a lot of negative self-talk from this person. Okay, every time they want to think about moving towards you, right? They keep talking themselves down, and it's a habit. It's a pattern, right? It's something that you can't break. That. they can break but they choose not to okay it takes a lot of inner strength to break the devil the devil's energy and this negative self talk you on the other hand here you're taking no action because i think you are focused on your growth your money you're being too materialistic don't take me in the wrong way materialistic does not mean i don't mean like that i just mean that you're too focused on your money not really focused on the stability and security of this connection but it's like you know what oh well if this wouldn't work out never mind i'm just going to move towards my career my profession or something you know like how materialistic things sometimes give us pleasure temporary but they do right i think that's what you're doing so you're not taking making a move towards this person you're just rather focused on something that makes you happy even if it is temporary rather than focus on this connection what's the outcome what's the best possible outcome wow the moon in reverse so i feel that there are going to be some secrets that are going to be revealed out here okay i feel this person out here is finally going to release their fear stress and anxiety around this connection this person out here is a very negative thinker let me put it out there okay short and sweet this person whenever they think about you or otherwise also i feel this person is someone who thinks very negatively okay about any situation probably they always think about the worst outcome that can happen all right and that's what's happening and finally in the outcome I think this person is getting their shit together. They're releasing that fear around the situation, releasing the negative thoughts, and I think they have clarity of some sort. I feel this person wants to come towards you and talk to you. But we'll find out. Uh, what's the devil? What's the devil? Yeah, see, there is no growth and expansion out here, right? 
see what's happening here we have the emperor and the empress out here like i said before you both want to be in the driver's seat guys who, out here right someone out here i think libra this is you you need to be in your feminine energy all right you need to be in your feminine energy you're in your masculine energy it does not matter if you're a man or a woman all right someone out here needs to nurture that feminine side you're being too controlling right now this person's also ha has control issues okay so you're both trying to control each other okay that, and that is why this connection is not growing there is no growth and expansion out here i would have rather had you just sit back relax you know and and um you know just uh, nurture yourself and automatically you would be practicing the law of attraction because you're letting go right you don't care you're not trying to take control of the outcome out here but that's what's happening here what's the five of swords in reverse Yeah, because this person doesn't commit, right? So you're choosing to walk away. You're fed up of this person's non-committal ways. This person out here is a freewheeling explorer. All right, Libra. You are someone who only who who values a lot, who values family, who values stability, who values peace, harmony. You're all about that. All right. And this person is the complete opposite. Complete opposite. I think you've been quite fed up of trying to be with this person. I think initially you would have tried to be with this person in their terms, the way they wanted to, you know, say in a relationship where no one knows or probably a relationship with no tag or just went on. Okay. Now I feel that you are like, you know what? I gave this all my all and you still don't seem, seem to change. Okay. And now you're just withdrawing the withdrawing from the connection. You're withdrawing from the connection because like I said, this person is non-committal. All right. This person likes to do things in a non-traditional way. Six of Swords. Why is this here? I know that you've given in your best. But this person doesn't... Uh, they, they can't let go of their ways is what I'm getting. Yeah. This person has a lot of love for you. All right. But they don't express themselves emotionally. Okay. Look. Two of Cups here. The love is there, guys. The love is there. It's just that they want. They don't want commitment. They want to... Um, no, it could be anything. Okay. Keeping their options open. Or they just don't like to be tied down. You can't control this person. You can't tie this person down. Take it from me, Libra. You can't do that. This person has a lot of love for you, but they don't want to be vulnerable, okay? Which is why you're choosing to walk away from them. Either this is a person who's just like that. That's their root nature. Or they've had a past relationship which didn't work out. It's hurt them bad. They haven't been able to forgive and they haven't been able to heal from this past connection, which is why they're just being really stubborn and rigid about their ways. What's the emperor? What's the eight of pentacles? Four of wands. Yeah, see this person probably is someone who now sees the connection as they want. They're, they're viewing this connection as someone who needs to, they need to put in the work. Okay, but with the four of wands here, they do see you as marriage material. They see you as someone they want a long term future with. Okay, they do. They see you as marriage material. And I think in order, um, I think by working on themselves, they're indirectly working on this connection. What's the nine of cups in the world? Yeah, see, see, see. They're not happy for after the breakup. They're not happy about this separation right now. And you know that. The best part is you know that. You know that they're not happy out here, okay? But I don't think uh, this person has let yet let go of this connection they still haven't closed this cycle hence there is no new cycle starting they're still going on not repeating the same cycle out here see it's all about their thoughts the way they think you know very stubborn and rigid person you can't shake them off my way or the highway what's the emperor here what's the emperor in reverse what's the emperor in reverse wow you both don't want drama i think I think you're both trying to avoid drama. You're both trying to avoid competition. But it's like, you know, you're both in your corners, okay? You're in your corner, they're in their corner. No one wants to fight for this connection is what I'm getting, okay? So because you, there's so much rigidity from both your sides, right? You're both like, um, it's very tough to break the ice, you know? You're both fighting for what you think is right, all right? And you both have your own insecurities that if I give up or if I give into this connection, they win. Or if they be given you know then you win not literally win win as such but it's just that that ego you know of not letting go what's the seven of pentacles what's the seven of pentacles what's the seven of... i think there's more inner conflict 
you are in your head they in their head rather than external conflict there's inner conflict here you both are conflicted in your own heads about what to do next you know why is the seven of pentacles here that's why there's waiting energy out here because you both don't know what to do next what's the seven of pentacles here yeah there is a lack of expression out here again like i said the love is there you're holding back they're holding back all right i think this person out here is someone who loves you a lot and they realize that but they don't want to be vulnerable and now you have been you know very lovable on this while you've been expressing yourself emotionally now you're walking away because you're shut down emotionally that's what's happening here now you're both in those reverse positions where no one wants to open up no one wants to be vulnerable both are scared both are afraid and you know this person knows they need to apologize but they're not doing it they're not doing it they're just waiting and watching you know shall i shall i not okay but they know they owe you an apology and you're like just you know no one's talking about love out here both of you all are just shut down three of swords in reverse why is this their action why is the three of swords in reverse for action yeah this person wants a reconciliation they want to heal this person wants to heal the connection they want a reconciliation they want to bring balance out here finally this person wants peace and harmony for sure they finally want what you want not in a way where they want commitment but they definitely want peace and harmony they want to reconcile they want to again i'm repeating myself but yeah they want to heal the connection all right they want a resurrection or reconciliation but yeah they're giving it some time all right slow and steady that's how they want to go with it they want to create a balance out here if things were imbalanced earlier they want to bring that balance in the connection 10 of pentacles in reverse why is this action why is the 10 of pentacles in reverse here yeah i see you are not taking any action towards this person okay you're not taking any action towards this person out here or you're just like very focused on yourself because this person isn't taking the lead out here okay but again i think with the 10 of swords in reverse here i feel that they you're, you're trying to walk away from them i said that before too right i think you're trying to move on from this person because the pain is too much this person is coming in to heal the connection and you're just trying your best not to focus on this connection and just walk away your approach is very passive towards them you're no longer being that badass no longer being in that masculine energy where you get up and get things done you're just if it happens happens if it doesn't that's fine you're okay with it both ways what's the moon in reverse what's the moon in reverse wow three of wands i think this person out here whatever happens right this person out here is um i think they're making a choice and they're going to come to you they're making a choice and they're coming to you okay no matter how, what the obstacles no matter what the deal is right this person is still choosing to come towards you okay this is a good it's a good thing the three of wands is a good thing it's manifesting right so they are trying to work on themselves so that they can come towards you with the eight of pentacles out here moon in reverse here i feel this is all kind of clarity that this person is getting slowly they want a reconciliation while you are probably just no longer committed to this person or this situation out here i think for right now time being you're just distancing yourself from them whilst they are taking the time to come towards you but they definitely want a reconciliation okay so that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates and i'll see you next time bye bye bye, -bye.